what today is. My nephew's birthday. What else is today? Julie's wedding. What else is today? <laughs> Two days before. It's the first day of Vlogmas. Oh no. <laughs> Hi. Happy first day of Vlogmas. As you can tell, we are thrilled. We are in Houston. Just got in last night. And uh, we're here for a wedding. But apparently it's also Brian's nephew's birthday. They're having a birthday party at 8.30 in the morning. Who does that? So we'll be doing budget December later today as well. Because it is December 1st. Order my present. Okay. Ready in five minutes. Go Happy birthday! Happy birthday! My hands are so tight. It's uncomfortable to sit. We ate, we went to the mall for a little bit, and now we're back. It's 12.30. I need to edit and upload my refinancing video so if you haven't checked that out check out the cards i talked about why i decided to refinance and in fact how much money i'm saving because i've refinanced um and it's actually even though i plan to pay off my loans pretty quickly uh it's still thousands of dollars i'm saving so uh again check out that video i also kind of talk about the difference between refinancing and consolidation since I did both with my student loans but since we're talking about money and it is December 1st let's go over my budget real quickly before I shower take a nap get dressed and head to the wedding okay guys so let's talk November December budget something there are a couple of new things that I did last month actually ended up getting a separate bank account and card for food groceries uh, restaurants that kind of stuff I'll talk about this more in an upcoming video when I actually go grocery shopping but um, it's with capital I'm like covering my numbers but it's with capital a lot of you guys recommend a capital it's a phone app that I use for my sinking funds which I talked about in another video link that in the video uh, above um, and then I also uh, opened an account with them for my food budget and then I also kind of did some small like investing they just relaunched the app um, and then they added a few features, the debit card and um, investing in stocks to be one of them. So I'll be using this um, from now on for food and stuff and it'll help me better organize budget wise uh, because this I put in $200 a week for food. Um, so that way I'm not um, using my other debit card where the money is and I can stick to budget. Something else I've started doing is I've actually started um, putting my finances in my planner. You guys know that I actually used to use the Every Dollar app, which is Dave Ramsey's app, to track my expenses. And it was fine, but for me, I think because I'm always on my phone for work and stuff, I just wasn't really super into it and I didn't always write down every time I spent something and even though you can do it where you uh, pay an extra fee and it automatically does it when you connect your bank account to your phone um, for me a lot of the accounts that it would go under just don't match the categories I like so then I would have to go in and adjust it and it's just a lot of work so I actually started just putting my budget in my planner and I like it because I carry my planner all the time and then um, actually doing it this way kind of made me keep focus on 
putting my budget down and writing it down. Um, this was obviously my first month, so it's kind of messy. And uh, when you guys see my budget online, it'll obviously be cleaned up and stuff. But this works for me. I have um, groceries, restaurant, home, personal, dogs, travel, parking, gas, lift, equipment. Um, Christmas, I did a lot of Christmas shopping. Uh, student loans are down here, and then I did a lot of donations last month, which we'll talk about later. And then um, payments. So I think I'm gonna do it this way from now on. Um, you guys know I'm a planner person, so this is something that works for me, but if the Every Dollar app is better for you, then continue to do that, but I like it this way. So those are a couple things that are new, but budget-wise, not gonna lie, I spent a lot of money last month. And most of it actually went to home because uh, we finished decorating the apartment and that's something that I really wanted to get done ASAP because I didn't want to spend any more time or money on doing that. So I did get paid quite a bit last month. So I was able to get everything done for the home. We're gonna do a home tour next week. So um, yeah, I'm. that's probably where the majority of my uh, payments went but also i did uh contribute ten thousand dollars to my student loans last month which is well above my goal of six thousand so i'm really excited of, over that and another thing i did was i donated um one two three four five six one two three about like eight hundred dollars to charity uh california was ravaged by fire so I donated um, some money to organizations that were help helping with uh, rescues, animal rescue, uh, donating to the firefighters to make sure they stayed hydrated and had hydrating packs and um, just all the way up and down in California. So that was something that was important for me to do. And I actually did do some shopping on Black Friday. I normally don't do shopping on Black Friday, but uh, since um, my family kind of told me what they wanted for Christmas. I tried to look for deals that way. Actually got some new pots and plant pans for the house because I'm trying to move into a non-toxic household just like health wise. I think it's just overall better. So there's this thing called green pan which is actually a um, ceramic um, based pot and pan so there's no toxins that are released into your food and stuff they were having a great deal uh, on black friday it was 60 percent off so um i only paid hundred dollars for some really good quality pots and pans which i'm really happy about and thrive market um i use thrive market all the time to get um like really clean healthy food items for the house but i also got um some reusable things and non-toxic things all that stuff and they had a pretty good um black friday event too but my family is pretty realistic when it comes to gifts so my brother wanted a pillow got that um and my mom wanted like a fitbit watch but one for golf so my brother and i split that and then i got her some actually i probably shouldn't say what i got them erase 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 the only thing i have left to do is get brian his things but he's still on the fence as to what he gets so that will be in the december budget in the month of december i will probably put aside about a thousand dollars for the dogs boarding because we're out of town a lot this uh this month like we're out of town now and then um for christmas time we'll be gone for about a week and a half and um it is boarding gets really expensive however we i know i'm like a rover sitter but we actually found a rover sitter for the dogs that we really like and doing that is half the price of boarding so like i just paid her i think it was six hundred dollars which is a lot of money but at boarding at a boarding facility it would have probably been about twice twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars for a week and a half for two dogs so um we're it's still a lot of money but we're actually saving a lot of money uh using rover as a dog sitter something about having your dogs in a house versus like in a facility i think is um 
much better they get the love more attention and all that stuff so um we really liked her when she babysat or dog sat the dogs last month when we were in hawaii and we're going to use her again for christmas so definitely check out rover um if you are going out of town actually that's it as always my budget is going to be in the description box um for you guys to check out it's going to be crazy because or it's gonna it's kind of crazy because on december 15th it's actually going to be an entire year since I first talked about my student loan debt. So on December 15th, just watch out for it, or it's actually going to be the 16th because I'm going to talk about it on the 15th. Um, we're going to go through how much debt I've actually paid in a year's time. And I'm really excited. I I know like a couple months ago I paid about what was like almost $50,000 in debt, but um, I've actually gotten paid a lot more since then, so I am really excited. And uh, the cool thing about like getting your finances on track is that you're able to give more. Um, so like I was able to donate um, to those who needed help in California. And the other day, I like gave food to homeless people who are waiting outside um, the drive-through that we were getting food in. And you know, you could say like you could have used that do those dollars towards your student loan debt. And yeah, I could have, but um, I think I could spend thirty dollars at Jack in the Box for two people to eat versus adding it to my student loan. Like. That is okay. I actually think that I might, if my trajectory is how it's been the past two months, I think I might be really, really, really close to paying off all my student loan debt at the end of next at the end of next year. I do want to say this. I had someone in my comment section the uh, a couple weeks ago complain that I was doing too many sponsored content. And I understand. I don't like the fact that all the videos lately have been sponsored. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't want you guys to think that I'm taking advantage of you. But also, on the other hand, it's like you follow me because I'm honest about my debt and you want me to pay off my loans, but some of you are complaining that I'm getting paid too much and you don't like it so it's really confusing and it's actually kind of upsetting you want me to succeed but you don't want me to succeed that quickly or something but yeah i mean in terms of all this uh, all the sponsored content again i don't like it you know i try to filter and post as many non-sponsored content in in between all the sponsored content but then it's just a lot of work for me and um in the new year i'm going to talk to my team about limiting the amount of uh, sponsored content on YouTube at least just so one it's less work for me it stresses me out less but also for you guys that way maybe it feels more I don't know genuine even though I do put a lot of work in these videos for it to not feel sponsored and stuff um Yo, get your money you don't have to explain nothing to people that are putting bills exactly well exactly that's Thanks, honey. That's what, anytime you guys tell me that, I just say, well, if you want to contribute to my student loans and allow me and donate money, $6,000 a month for me to not do sponsored content, then I won't do sponsored content. But until that point happens, then... It's your fucking job. Yeah, it is my <laughs> job. I just wanted to point that out because, um, yeah, it's like kind of confusing. You guys love it when I do my debt videos, but when I share my budget or do sponsored content and start make money, and make money to pay off my debt it kind of bothers you so it's like choose your side <laughs> what do you want you want to see someone succeed or you want someone to just talk about debt for the rest of their life um yeah and for those who don't know by the way vlogmas is when youtubers post videos every day so it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot of asia this face but um yeah it's just a thing people do last last month was or last year was my first year doing vlogmas and i think i only made it to day 16 because it is a lot of work uh, and i just got burnt out but i'm gonna try and push through to christmas but something that we also started doing last year for vlogmas is at the end of each video we posted a question for you guys to answer in the comment section but i'm gonna do it now just because um kind of has to do with money um my question is is that today is december 1st so let us know in the comment sections what is your december financial goal that you want to achieve before the year ends 
think about it. It doesn't have to be a big one. Maybe it's just like putting aside $50 or um, not maxing out your credit card during Christmas. It can be something small or it could be something huge like paying off your last debt or whatever. But anyways, let us know in the comments. That is the Vlogmas question of the day. And yeah, I will see you guys in a couple hours when this is done. God, I am so tired. <laughs> um, the wedding was fun. It was between our friends Len and Dewey. I just had the biggest realization today about how much you're actually supposed to gift uh, someone for a wedding. Apparently, you are supposed to at least cover your plate, supposedly. Um, so like if it was a hundred dollars per plate per person you give them at least a hundred dollars so like for brian and i it would be two hundred dollars and i've never heard that before have you i guess it makes sense the food the vietnamese food was so good like so bum cooper the dog oh my god he was so cute in his little tuxedo i wanted him to hang out later but they took him home after the reception or after the ceremony yeah i guess that's it uh, Vlogmas day one in the books. Good night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.